They say that I'm bad for you I could die right now for you Say something Bad, I'm bad for you Spend my time thinking of you Spend my time thinking of you You're looking at me like you wanna be back to my channel today's video is arabella hair you could tell i'm very excited i'm just showing you what came in the box but i wanted to tell you guys if you're interested in getting a body wave wig at the moment i'm super excited because this is probably my favorite body hair wig today no joke like literally they've surpassed my expectations and you're gonna see when i install it exactly what i'm talking about because I made several mistakes in this video and for some reason I still end up keeping this wig on and it looks flawless. I'm just doing my regular application using Ebon Lace Spray. I'm applying four layers. I only apply four layers when I know I'm going to leave it in like for a longer amount of time. Sometimes I just do two or three. But make sure that it's tacky in between each layer and this is going to help it build up that thickness where it's looking, not really looking, but where it's feeling like glue. I also recommend that you put on your wig before. This is how the wig is looking. I, I recommend that you put it on before because as you can see here, I made like a big mistake putting it on after and it was like all messy and the adhesive was getting on the lace and now it was sticking on my eyebrows. But you can see how thin the trim, the trim around the lace is. This is a true HD lace. Most companies say that they have HD lace, but the HD lace has to look like this. When it looks like this, you know it's going to be seamless and you're not even going to have to put any makeup or anything really on your wig. But I'm cutting off the extra piece in the front because I need to see what I'm doing. And I also don't want this adhesive um, setting on my skin. So after I do that, I'm going to tie it down for 10 minutes. The packaging says to tie it down for 10 minutes, so I do that every single time. And I feel like that really works for me. It helps for it to dry down, like truly dry down. So after the 10 minutes, I take it off and I'm going to cut off the ex the excess pieces. And you can see this is melted. Like right there by my eyebrow, it's a piece of lace and you can't even see it. This is melted. So I'm going in and I'm just lifting up the lace because obviously it had some adhesive on it. And I'm using a razor, like the razor stick to give it a jagged edge. And that jagged edge is going to help it to melt into the skin seamlessly. rub my fingers along the edges when i told when i tell you to use the razor it's because of this trick right here it helps it to melt into the skin because of the jagged edges like the little fabric pieces are going to melt into the skin but it's already melted because of this hd lace that's why i'm telling you guys this is one of the best hd lace wigs i've ever gotten no joke like there's minimal shedding and everything like it surpassed my expectations. I'm gonna tie it down for five to seven minutes just to make sure that it's completely dry. And make sure you do this, even if you wanna speed up the time, use a blow dryer and then I'm gently pulling it off and you can see how melted this looks. This has no foundation on it, no makeup, nor nothing. And I did clean up my skin with a little bit of alcohol, but I did not show you guys that. I'm going in and doing some minimal baby hairs, but I did come back the next day and fix the baby hairs. So you'll see that later on in the video of me coming back the next day. But I'm just taking out a little bit just so I can have it have a natural look. I wanted to have a natural look. So I'm using my hot comb and I'm hot combing the hair down and back because I did want to try out a hairstyle, but you're going to see it's a fail but anyways, how comb the edges pieces going forward? Take your time with this because I almost burned myself. And in between those areas right here, because the adhesive turned a little white, I did use some foundation. 
and just do the same exact thing on both sides. I'm going in with the hot comb one more time and then I'm going to use some tweezers to tweeze the sideburns. You don't want your sideburns to be too thick so I'm using some tweezers to lessen out that and I'm using a half inch, I believe this is a 1.5 or 3 fourths of an inch um, flat iron and I'm just going to curl the baby hairs going backwards. Then I'm going to use some got to be spray and I'm going to just lay it and go back and forth. This took me like maybe 10 minutes. I sped the video up a bit, but it took me a while. Just go back and forth until you feel like it's looking natural and nice. And then this was after I did my makeup. I just did like a quick little makeup. And I'm trying out a style. So I'm doing a triangle type flat triangle at the top of my head because I wanted to do a piece in the front. And I'm actually looking at a picture on Instagram, but I did not end up doing that style. But I still left it in the video to show you guys what my brain came up with. So I part that out and then I just put the piece in the front out of the way because I don't need to work on that. I need to basically work on the back. So I'm wrapping that up and then I'm going to clip it. And this is where I messed up. I'm over here looking at a freaking fishtail braid tutorial because guys i yes i do my hair and stuff but i've never ever tried a fishtail braid and i remember like when i was in school and the girls doing each other hair and stuff fishtail braids i never learned how to do a fishtail braid so you could see my face like it was a fail i'm over here thinking if i should do a half up half down it's not coming out nice so now i'm depressed <laughs> so i end up just putting it down and i put some curls in the hair and I'm just curling it away from my face. I finally learned how to curl properly. So you just hold the curling iron upright and make sure that the piece is at the bottom, as you can see I'm doing right there. And put it through just enough, but not all the way in. And then, yeah, that's super simple. I learned this on YouTube, actually, how to properly hold it. I'm using my Sebastian Shaper Plus just to hold the curls in place, even though they did drop a bit, but it helps. Now I'm just brushing it out and I'm using my hot comb to flatten down the sides. I did go ahead and take out these pieces in the back. I don't recommend doing that. Don't do this. This was a stupid idea on my part. I did cut those pieces, which was really dumb. And then I pulled the hair back like this to see if I wanted to put it in a ponytail. But then I end up doing a flat twist, which I feel looks really, really cute. But I did this flat twist go all the way down like a regular twist and then I pinned it I pinned it to my head on the sides to give it more of like a sleek, effortless fairy look. I feel I feel like it looks like a fairy. And then once it gets to the bottom, you want to secure it with a rubber band because if you don't, it's going to unravel and we don't want it unraveling. Then twist it up kind of tight and pull, push it to your head and then use a clip to clip it down flat. You can use a bunch of clips to help with this, but I just used one. And this is where I was doing my stupid ass idea of cutting the backside, which was really dumb. And I curled it, but it didn't even curl. Like, this was such a dumb idea. Anyways, I just tucked that behind my ear. And I just did the other side, the same exact thing like I did my opposite side. And I actually feel better about this. So now I'm going to do the front. I just put a part down the middle and then I'm going to hot comb it on both sides just to make sure that it's nice and flat and natural. I did go in using some got to be and stuff too because it was a little frizzy. But I hot comb it until I feel like it's flat enough. And you can see I'm doing a voiceover right now because you can see the fan blowing my wig. Like, guys, I finally ordered an AC unit, but I'll talk to you about that in the next video. I think I'm going to do like a vlog going to the hardware store because I have to do a DIY project, but I digress. So just make sure that you're hot in the hair. I did use some hair wax and I'm just going to trim it so I can frame my face properly. And I'm doing like a jagged motion just to make sure that it's not blunt. And I do that on both sides. And then I was curling the hair in the wrong direction, but I left it in there so you guys can see like how not to curl your hair. I was curling it backwards, but is that the way I had to curl it? 
I think that's the way I had to curl it backwards. So I took out the part where I curled it wrong, but you wanna curl it like that. And then here I just went ahead and did a braid and I stuck the braid into the flat twist. I don't know, it was just like a little something that my brain was telling me to do. And I feel like it came out pretty cute, it's different. So I left it in here just in case you wanna try something new with your wig. This is really cute. So you can do this to go to brunch or to work, anything, if you just wanna change up your look. And then I just twist it around cause it's curled and I pinned it and it just looks so cute, I find. Thumbs up this video if you're here so far. And if you're here still, comment down below some leaves. Cause I feel like leaves and flowers and stuff is giving summer vibes. So comment that down below and just let me know if you guys are enjoying this tutorial because I enjoy making it for you. And this is how the style turned out. I really like it. I feel like it's giving an, an elegant look and it'll look so cute if you're wearing like a little sundress. But I end up coming back the next day because I don't know, I feel like I wasn't pleased, but you can see this lace is amazing. It is impeccable. Make sure you visit Arabella Hair. They're amazing. So this is the next day. I decided to go in and curl it here in a smaller amount of pieces. I was doing a TikTok at the moment. So I do have a TikTok on this look and this hair on my TikTok. Make sure you guys follow me. And I wanted to do like some beach waves, but I had to use my freaking curling wand. I don't know why I was using this curling iron. I feel like it was accessible on my table. That's why. But... I did go in here and pull out some more baby hairs because I wanted it to be more dramatic. That's just me. If you want to do natural baby hairs, follow what I did earlier in the video. But if you want like normal baby hairs, do this. And I just curl it backwards. Same thing like I did last time. So got to be, I did use some Gorilla Snot because I wanted it to stay down and hold. And it's looking amazing. I love this lace. This lace is beautiful. I'm using some Gorilla Snot just to hold that down even further. The Gorilla Snot is bulletproof in the summertime. It's not going to move. It's not going to move even if you sweat. You just want to make sure that you're using your blow dryer to cool it down so it can dry down. Right here, I'm using my blow dryer on cool, and that's just going to dry that down. I was too lazy to turn on my freaking hot comb, but you could just use your hot comb right here to flatten it down. And the thing about it is I curled my hair before I did my makeup, so the curls kind of dropped. But... It was still cute, and I was too lazy to go back and uncurl anything, so I just left it like that. And I just took it down, and I combed it out. And this was basically the end of the look. I really enjoyed making this video. This video was two days long. I love, love, love this wig. I will link it down below. I recommend this wig. I'm going to do a video telling you guys my top rated hair companies for curly hair, because you know curly hair is my thing. Curly hair, body wave, deep wave, all of that. Just comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see that i definitely will make it and this is how it looks i am going to be coming out with uh, another makeup video soon but this is the first hairstyle hope you guys don't forget about it if you try it make sure you send me pictures of you on my instagram and i will definitely see you guys in my next video don't forget to check out arabella hair the links are down below like always and yeah bye <laughs>